Our first dive here on the Western Cape has brought us down to Dassin Island which lies off the western coast and it boasts a huge amount of wildlife both above and below the surface. Dropping into the icy cold water the temperature here is down to about 12 degrees and visibility as you can see not that great. One of the main reasons why the visibility is so poor is the huge volumes of krill that you get here in this time of year. And it's these millions upon millions of tiny microscopic organisms that form the basic food source for most of the animals within our ocean. So for me it was a bit disappointing to see how dirty the sea actually was once we were below the surface but always interesting to see how the, the oceans work and as you can see here right down on the bottom again just millions and millions of these tiny little animals. So it wasn't a case of diving below them or above them, they were pretty much a whole column or a whole band from the surface down to the bottom. Getting down there's the usual crayfish, lots of anemones around and while I was just sort of getting settled in and getting comfortable I noticed this very interesting little brittle star slowly moving across the sand granules. There are many different types of these brittle stars and this particular one is called a hairy brittle star. They each have five arms and all attached to a disc-like main body. Each arm is covered in tiny little hair-like spines which aid it in moving across the bottom. They're very gregarious animals and they can congregate in big numbers on little rocky outcrops and rocky ledges. As you can see all intertwined in amongst them needle urchins. Perhaps they use the urchin spines for some type of protection against predators. These little brittle stars all feed on microscopic organisms, tiny little crustaceans decaying flesh, things like that. And once you pull away from these rocky outcrops you can just see an absolute mass of sea urchins intertwined with these little brittle stars. The highlight for me today was when this tiny little octopus just drifted down right in front of my camera. This little octopus is absolutely minute. His body is about the size of my thumb with perfectly formed little legs and below each leg is many different little sucker pads which he uses to help him move along the bottom. Amazing little animals. Each animal has three hearts. A heart for each gill which enables it to pump blood through the gills and then one heart to pump blood throughout the rest of the body. And as most people know masters of disguise and even at this young age you can see him moving over different texture and different color and he's already trying to to change his color. Well, a very unique little feature about these animals is they don't have bones like fish and they don't have an exoskeleton like nautilus shells or crayfish so they're extremely supple and extremely flexible as well which allows them to slip into the tiniest of little holes and cracks which is a perfect defense mechanism against any predators that are trying to hunt them it was really the most amazing dive, just watching this little guy going about his daily business and then disappearing into a little crevice that's about a half a centimeter wide.